Narragansett Bay is the heart of Rhode Island. All parts of our lives are tied to the bay. And there's this huge risk with the Shell Oil Terminal sitting on fill land at sea level right next to Narragansett Bay. Shell has a permit that allows them to release certain small amounts of pollution into the bay and they have to report what's being released. Their failure to do that is putting all of us at risk. Under the Clean Water Act, Shell must prepare its terminal for the effects of climate change. Shell has failed to do that. A bit of breaking news out of Houston. Hurricane Harvey floodwaters triggered a gasoline spill of epic proportions, totaling more than 461,000 gallons of gas. More than two dozen spills, fuel and chemical tanks failed. If there was a major spill at this terminal, it would have devastating impacts on people who use the bay. I've been working on climate change for 25 years. The sea levels are rising faster in the Northeast US than they are in much of the rest of the world. And so you're combining extremely high water with petrochemicals and you have a worst case scenario where it's contaminating people's yards, their basements, and they're breathing the fumes. I've had a business here for 35 years. Because we have a more fragile environment, there's a bigger corporate responsibility to preserving it. Shell has purchased a facility that needed upgrades that they weren't willing to invest in. We're asking them to be a partner in an effort towards prevention and cleanliness. The Shell oil facility is polluting our river now. To have something happen like a severe oil spill, it would be a disaster for me personally. It would be a disaster for recreational fishermen. The threat is very severe. Shell Oil speaks a lot about climate change. They have taken it into consideration at other facilities. They just haven't in Providence. And they need to do that. And they need to do that now. That's why CLF is taking Shell to court. No oil company is too powerful to be held accountable for its actions.